Hello there and welcome back to the lair. Now we all go to Steam to try and find the best games for us and usually we choose those who are the best rated. But what about the bad ones? We never choose those so do they really deserve the rating they have or is there something more to them? So today I will try four of them. How this will work is I will do some gameplay commentary and then the verdict at the end. Let's get right into it. By the way, if you are already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you're not, please press the button. It really does help. Uh, now for this game, if you want me to indie mouse it, please let me know down in the comments because it's really funny. Now back to the gameplay goblin. Okay, so here we are uh, clearly playing as Cody Ko after he's been sent to a haunted house for his uh, alleged crimes. He's uh, expecting to be swiped on this 90s computer. It's not how that works, buddy. Can we pet the dog? Right, 10 out of 10, best game. Oh, Oh, he snapped his neck. <laughs> the dog is dead. Okay, so we have to clean <laughs> our clothes and uh, this is very riveting. But uh, look at the toilet. It reminds me of uh, when I had a roommate as a student. Uh, he used to leave those uh, daily inside. So, yeah. Okay, what? Oh. Hi, Grandma. No, I'm not hungry, Grandma. Please leave me alone. Oh, thank God. Okay, so... Oh! Okay, so <laughs> Grandma has been at it <laughs> for quite a while. He does. She does that a lot. It's so funny. It's the funniest thing. It works just like mm, our sister is giving us a gun. He's never shot a gun before, so that's... <laughs> He's John Wick now. Okay, so the monster design is actually pretty good. I'll give points for that. We're just pew pewing here. Oh, uh, that one wants to hug you at all times, which, uh, no thanks. i not much of a hugger, so, uh, this dude, though, never held a gun before in his life, and now he's, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a boss fight now. <laughs> you can't do anything because uh, unlimited stamina, dude. Yeah, where are you looking while shooting? Unlimited stamina. And oh, I I can't shoot. I'm pressing the button. I can't. It glitched out. Uh, yay. Ugh, yawning in the face of death. Okay, come here. I'm gonna shoot. Never mind. Okay, so we're at the boss fight now. Oh, he's using Blasphemous Blade, you cheater. Okay, so Stray Souls is a very, very funny game and it fails at what it wants to do, which is to be a horror game. It's not worth the money. I wouldn't, wouldn't spend money on it if I were you. It just doesn't do much and there's a lot of glitches, you get stuck, you have to reload from before and uh, the gameplay isn't just, just isn't that exciting, like something like Silent Hill. But as I said, if you want me to indie mouse it, I'll gladly do it, so you don't have to buy it to see all the funny moments inside this game. Alright, we're starting off strong with the main menu with the resolution of 1. Shadow quality of zero. Uh, and you have to go all the way. Look at the way you have to go to even click. Resolution can be only one, I guess. Oh man, shadow quality free. Let's put all on free. Hell yeah. I don't know what it means, but... We're going for the freeze. You know what, let's, <laughs> let's just start the game. Oh, I'm very low here. That's something. Okay, I'm being attacked here by a number of uh, whatever this is. I don't know what to do. I'm dying. Okay. Oh, at least it's action packed. I. No. Why is the flashlight projecting shadow? I'm stuck. I'm, I'm dead. Okay, so after a while, I did find out what I have to do. Um, 
You have to get to the end of the hallway to get in another hallway, which is the same. Just different monsters appear, and then you just turn around and shoot them. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Can't do anything. And that's the game. That is the game. Huh? Oh, it's a boss fight. I'm fighting against the devil. I can't do anything though, because uh, you clip through <laughs> and he's just very strong. Best game ever, 10 out of 10. Changed up my expectations from the same hallway. And I'm dead. Okay, that's it. This game is worth no money, don't buy it. So we're at the starting menu and we get the options of start, option and quit. So one option, I'm just gonna start. Oh, and this annoying filter stays on, I hate this. The visuals are pretty bad. Oh, I, so this game should be in English, but uh, that was Korean. I'm pretty sure I know what Korean is. Ah yes, drugs, the best medicine. Take note, kids. No, do, do not take note. Okay, so uh, you have to uh, power the generators from these trolleys, which are 500 meters away. And I found the code, it's just 9. The code is 9. Okay, heads, an axe. Okay, now we're talking. Got a got a little weapon here. So, uh, find something to chop chop. Ooh, a battery. Those batteries are, batteries are huge. No wonder they last so long. Ooh, I can chop chop. It's bleeding. Okay, so I found out how to continue from here. This game is very confusing. So, um, in order to continue here, what we have to do is close the door. It's great design, because otherwise you can't get through. Um, whoever was the architect of this should be condemned to be watched by this eye forever. Whatever he's doing. Okay, this is another of the same thing. Just find the trolleys and uh, power them up. Oh, the zombies, they just spawn on top of you from time to time. So that, that's the game loop. Okay, so I've decided for zombie that comes, I'm just gonna let him kill me. Oh, hell, lucky winner. Because this is actually less painful than playing this game. To be completely honest. Okay, so verdict for dark and light is... Um, I didn't expect to say this in this video, but... This is actually <laughs> worse than uh, the Lord of Terror before. Because at least in Lord of Terror you shoot, there's some action. Uh, it doesn't say much though, it's like better by 0.1%, uh, but here it's just confusing, it's Korean language, everything looks the same, and the zombies spawn off top of you, and the generators that are 500 meters away from each other, and if you don't do them in sequence, they don't work, it's just not worth anything. Avoid this game at all costs. Don't even watch it on YouTube, just close the video right now. Okay, we have to be very quiet because we are on our first heist and uh, we have to steal two valuables from the locals here. Oh, never mind, she saw me. <laughs> oh, she didn't, okay. That means you're going to sleep. Okay, uh, so we can hide the body. Just gonna put you right here. Oops, <laughs> that's gonna be some bruises. Okay, she's just sleeping on the job, it's fine, guys. 
Okay, so I'm on a quest right now. I want to get to the sword. You can open the map and get to the sword. So it's down, down, left, down, down, right. I have found the sword. I'm gonna use it now. Okay, so this lady is suspicious of me, but she does know I prepared a trap of a banana peel for her. Um, I do wonder how this goes. If this works, I'm totally recommend this, recommending this game to everyone. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There, stop, stop pretending. Okay, I find the valuables. The valuables I will take here because they give me money and I can buy gear with it. I'm just gonna break the glass here. It's not like Garrett. He, this thief is not very. Uh, Stealthy sometimes, it's just like break the glass, but it's okay. I got rid of all of the NPCs, so I can do this. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not a murderer. Come on, mine. Evermore is the best game I played on this list, at least uh, regarding gameplay. It's kind of a mix between Thief and Dishonor because you also pick up tarot cards which gives you powers for that level in particular. You can go invisible and stuff like that. Uh, but it has a problem and that is the performance issues. I still got them even though the version should be updated. But uh, sometimes my CPU would go 100% for no reason. And when I loaded uh, a mission, this mission that you're seeing now actually, I just had to wait five minutes for it to load so there are some glitches there are some soft locks so that's the reason that this game is so low on the rating system is because of the performance issues but otherwise the gameplay isn't so bad so I wish they tried a little bit more for the optimization but it is what it is at this state I cannot recommend it but if they would fix it it would be really good Okay, that was four bad games on Steam I played. Uh, if you like the video, comment below, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see a game to play or a review, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, Goblin out. Bye.